Hey there folks, thanks for joining me today. What I've got here is the awesome ViewSonic Viewboard. If you haven't seen my intro video, definitely check it out. So what I'm talking about right now is specifically the built-in Android OS and what's included with it and what you can do without having a computer. So you get your ViewSonic Viewboard, you open it up. This is basically what you see when you turn it on. You've got a stylus you can use or you can use your finger up to you. Um, what you got up here on your home screen are your frequently used apps. You can customize it. You can throw apps out of here, add more to it. You can install your own apps. You got to sideload them, but you can do that. And you can also see the full uh, apps downloaded right in there. So we've got some really cool features. We've got a web browser. We've got casting built in. So that specifically is AirPlay. There's another vCast that is included with this for Windows and Android devices. And we've got Zoom. So if you're using Zoom, it's already there. Another cool feature, if you have an Elmo MX1 or MXP document camera, you can plug it in down here and it'll work in this Android system. Not many people know that, but that is a cool feature. So what I wanna show you real quick is uh, the web browser. And I want to show that to you because myviewboard.com. Now, you can use myviewboard, which is the ViewSonic software. We can use it without having an account, but that's no fun. Make an account, it's going to be so much cooler. There's more features that are active when you're logged in. So you go to myviewboard.com, create your account. You can set up all your settings. You can set default backgrounds. You can uh, set when you open up a web, uh, web page. You can have links that show up on the bottom and they're already preset in there for education, for business, for sports, but you can also customize them as well. So you set all that stuff up and when you log into the Android MyViewboard app, the software on the PC, whatever you're logging into, all your settings are right there for you. So it's great. You can just jump between devices, use it however you want and it's all right there. So I'm gonna get out of this for right now. We're going to talk about it later though, don't worry. Now back in the home screen, I just want to show you there's a menu that pops up on the side. You've got a very basic annotation software that's in here. So I can draw on my home screen. You could use it if you want to, but we've got the My View Board app, so you really don't need it. So we open up My View Board app. Now this is where it's at. The default background is green for education. You can change that to whatever you like though, so don't worry. Uh, but you notice the login screen here. Now, like I said, you can use this without logging in. I can draw on the screen, uh, but it's just not any fun. We want to be logged in. So I'm going to open it up and I don't have time to type out my email and password. So I have the companion app on my phone and I'm just going to log in from my phone. All I do is scan that QR code and it's going to log me in. Watch. Now it says Anthony Touchboards at the top. That's my view board name. So my settings are already in here. It's already set up. And you'll notice I've got two toolbars. There's one here and one at the bottom. I can move these around as I see fit if I want them up on the side. There it is. Whatever's easier for me, right? Now, if you're wondering, this app is basically the same as the software that you're gonna use on your PC. There are a few minor differences because of the limitations of Android. Uh, you know, the way you do a few things is different. You also don't have the casting capabilities built into this app the way you do with the Windows software. So a couple of really cool things I wanna show you. First of all, you've got your pen tools. We can draw on our screen, change line thickness, change colors. Obviously green on a green background may not be great. Again, not as many options as Windows, but it's all there. You want to erase, just draw a line over it. It's all good. It's gone. I can also select an area or just hit the garbage pail and make the whole screen go away. I can add and change pages. So I can have multiple pages in here. Uh, I can import files. So I can pull files from the storage on board. I can also pull from a document camera. Like I mentioned that Elmo, plug it in, you'd hit that and there you'd see your picture. I don't have the Elmo here, so I can't show you. 
Um, but another really cool feature is the screen grab. So you can capture whatever you have up here, save that uh, as needed. We also have built-in web browser, which is going to take you to myviewboard.com. I can also screen capture the web browser and drop it in here. All right, so I want to show you one of my favorite features of this app, and that's called the AI pen. So if we select our pen tool, you have to tap it again to make this box open up. Um, you'll see AI here. This is something you can only get by being logged in. All right. So what this does is it allows you to draw something in this box and it offers suggestions as to what that would be. So I want to draw a cruise ship, for example. I'm a terrible artist, just so you know, but I'm going to draw a ship as best I can. And I apologize for everyone out there that can actually draw. But there's my ridiculous sailboat. And I've got speedboats coming up here. I got cruise ships coming up here. So it worked, right? I can uh, tap on one of these, and now I've got that dropped into my workspace here. So it's just a little drawing of whatever you want it to be, in this case, a cruise ship. But that's not everything this can do. I can go and long press on that, and now it does a Google image search for that object. So, it did a Google image search for cruise. I've got some awesome pictures here I want to work into my presentation. So I can just long press on one of those. It's going to ask to save and it's going to drop it onto the canvas for me. Behind the web browser, of course, but there it is. The other thing we can do is, uh, let's see here. I can click on the link, for example, this particular website that I want to show in my presentation. It comes up in my web browser here, and I'm not gonna wait for it to load, I'm just gonna do it, but I push that button and it takes a screenshot, which is also right there. Why it's coming up behind this, I'm not sure, but it is. So I'm all done with that. I now have three objects in my workspace here that I can work with. So I make sure my selection tool is selected. There's our screen capture. I can move it around, I can make it bigger and smaller got a whole, whole lot of different options you can do with it. I can select our cruise ship picture, which is kind of pixelated because it's not a great picture, but looks really cool. And then lastly, I have my little drawn boat there. I can make big and small. I can throw it away. I can change the color, do whatever you want with it. It's pretty cool. And of course, then you can select your pen and draw on top of it. Helps if it's not white. So let's make it blue. Now we can draw on top of it. So as you can see, it's a, it's a pretty cool app. It does a lot of stuff and it's great for presentations. So some of the features that it doesn't have are embedded YouTube videos, embedded web browsers, uh, casting and throwing. These are all features you're gonna find in the PC software, uh, the, the PC My View Board software. Uh, but what I wanna show you though is the capability of this app. Uh, I definitely recommend using the software but let's say you had my view board files, you got them on a thumb drive, you've got them saved to your cloud file or something like that. Uh, you can load them up in the app and not have to worry about connecting your computer to this. So you can be up and running, do everything you gotta do and not necessarily have a computer connected. You can just use this app. So my view board gets two thumbs up from this guy. Stay tuned for our next video where we're gonna go more in depth on the my view board software on the PC. Some of the same features, but some new stuff as well.